What's going on, everybody? I'm Landon, and welcome back to another episode of Sneak Peek brought to you by Shoewear. Thanks for stopping by to check us out. Let's go ahead and dive into today's episode. So we'll get things started with Nike. So like we mentioned last episode, the Nike Dunk Low SP Champs Colors released on June 24th for $100. And this shoe was meant to be more of a retro colorway to resemble some 80s themed shoes. And with the retail price being so low, this is an easy shoe to flip for profit if you hit on them and you don't really like the color scheme. So also Nike had another piece of the Air Max 90 duck camo collection drop on the 29th in the orange duck camo colorway. And of the three Air Max 90 duck camo colorways that have dropped recently, this orange color may be my favorite, followed by the green and the reverse duck camo just is not it for me. But for upcoming releases on Nike, the Nike Space Hippie Pack looks like it is still set to release in a few days on July 3rd in these four different models that you see here. And I feel like we've been talking about them forever with the delay, but the day has finally come, so be on the lookout for this release in just a few days. And just a brief reminder that these shoes were made out of recycled material from other shoes that we touched on in episode two. So if you want more detail on the creation process, feel free to go back and check that out. All right, so moving on to Jordan brand, the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low Concord Bread released on June 27th for 185. And just as the name implies, this shoe resembles two iconic OG colorways of the Jordan 11s, taking the Concord upper and combining it with the bread sole. The Air Jordan 1 Tie Day also dropped in women's sizing on June 29th for 170. And of the recent Jordan 1 high releases that we've seen, these are one of my favorite. I just like the look of the shoes with like the different patterns and colors more than just a simple color blocking sometimes. So this shoe was pretty clean to me. For upcoming releases on Jordan, the Air Jordan 5 Purple Grape is set to release in a few days on July 7th for 190. And I love these shoes mainly because of the purple. But I personally don't love the way Jordan 5s look on my feet. So these will be a pass for me, unfortunately. But one of the most highly anticipated Jordan shoes in the Air Jordan 1 Dior is supposed to release at some point during July for a retail price of $2,200 on the high and for $2,000 on the low. And if I could describe the look of these shoes using only one word, it would be perfection. And I will accept no other opinions on the design of this shoe other than perfection. The raffle registration to enter for this shoe has already been closed and the winner should be notified today on July 1st. So if you entered the raffle, finish watching the remainder of this video and then be sure to check your email and hopefully you have some stacks save up to complete your $2,000 plus order. So next we'll talk about Adidas and they had another Yeezy basketball shoe hit the market on June 25th in the Yeezy Quantum Varium. And just like most Yeezys, the retail price on these was pretty high at $250. You'll, you'll have to let me know what you think about this model because I like the look of most Yeezy Kanye, Yeezys that Kanye puts out. But these are kind of whack to me, but as most shoes, I'm sure they look better in hand. But the main thing I wanted to touch on for Adidas today was Yeezy's new partnership with Gap. Kanye West recently announced that he will be partnering with Gap to design a new line that will be more modern and affordable than some of the Yeezy price points that are being put out today. And this is a long-term partnership that is looking to last around 10 years at least. And you should begin to see Yeezy Gap items pop up in store and online in 2021. And just for reassur reassurance to the Yeezy community, he will continue to build upon and continue to grow the high-end Yeezy collection. So last, I want to hit on ASICs, but just this one shoe. The ASICS Sean Watherspoon and Atmos collab on the Gel Light 3 Corduroy dropped on June 27th. And this is one of the cleanest shoes I have seen in a minute. For people that think ASICS isn't for the hype, you're pretty much right, but not entirely right. ASICS still puts out some heat and these shoes are a prime example. They're reselling for close to $1,000 right now, so these won't be in my shoe collection anytime soon. But I do have the ASICS Gel Saga Gold Fusion and they are just as comfortable as they are stylish. So that's gonna wrap it up for this week's episode of Sneak Peek. Be sure to like this video and give us a follow on our socials here and comment below letting us know what you thought or if there's anything you want us to hit on and we'll be sure to get back to you. But until next episode, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.